Alright, Hornet's Nest. Soviet forces are concentrating their attacks on the Potominik airfield. It's the last landing strip inside the pocket, which is still in German hands. Oh, a flight of ill twos. Led by me. Alright, now this is the plane for which the game is named. These are cool planes. They're called the Flying Tank. For good reason. Three additional attempts sounds good to me. And, uh, yeah, let's jump to it. Now, again, the, like I was saying in the last video, the plot's not doing an awful lot for me. You get personal stories, but they're kind of disconnected. They're disorganized. And that's what I meant before when I said the plot was kind of schizophrenic. The things are like disorganized schizophrenia, specifically. They seem kind of random. It's like, yeah, part of a story here, part of a story here, and a third part of a story, and they don't come together that cohesively. But enough about the plot. The gameplay is more important, especially because flying games are never known for their plots. Um, so, let's jump into it. It looks like a cool battle so far, although the fire graphics could use some help. Smoke's not bad, and the searchlights are a cool effect. So we're in pretty much the toughest plane built during the war. I'm pretty close to it. Alright, this is very realistic. Um, the Germans really did try to supply their... Uh, resupply their ground troops by air. They staged pretty much the most massive air uh, resupplying outside of maybe the Berlin aircraft of the Cold War. Uh, the Berlin airlift, I meant. So both times involved Germans. That's kind of funny. And both times the Allies won. <laughs> the Allies of the U.S., that is. Alright. Oh, they have rear gunners. Okay. I'm in a flying tank. I don't care about your gunners. Shoot me all you want. Oh, they're not coming back from that one. Alright, my engine got damaged pretty badly, actually, so maybe I should care a little bit more about getting shot. Ah, come on, that's a lame graphic to shoot him down to. That looks more like it. Now, like I said, aircraft didn't play that large of a role in the Battle of Stalingrad, so I can kind of understand why this mission's not the most interesting. But really, I'm just picking off a couple people, four at a time, or six at a time now. Come on, game designers, you can do better than that. Got these guys from the side back. That should make it a little harder for them to hit us. And let's take out this last one. A little evasive maneuver. <laughs> that was close. Man, the flaw in the flying tank is that it's a slow plane. No two ways about it. I mean, it can stay in the air at slow speeds, fortunately, but. Not the best pursuit fighter, you know? There we go. That was a professional kill. Hitman. Alright, looks good. Let's get out of here. So, how do you play this mission? Well, like most flying games, the missions don't have that much depth to them. Now, I love flying games, don't get me wrong. 
Flying games are one of my favorite genres of games. In fact, I've asked on YouTube before for people to help me fly find flying games. But, um... You know, they got a few missions in a row here that are real duds. You know, I've played through this game like a year ago. I don't remember it being this much of a dud, frankly. Ah. Yeah, try not to approach them. One bit of advice I do have is try not to approach them directly from the back, because they will rip you apart like that. Jeez. I'm taking a pounding. Now, I know I'm in a flying tank, but jeez, how much can this thing take? Alright, my wings are damaged, my tail's damaged, my engine's about to explode. Probably trailing smoke. Yep, trailing smoke. Uh, well, it's a good thing I have a few continues. Why do I have bombs? That was fun, but ineffective. Alright, attacks from the front do not work. Try to attack from the side, and or above, and or below. Why am I not taking my own advice? Because I don't really care. I have three continues. Oh, crap. Do I make it out? Come on, where's the parachute? Oh well, let's get back on him. And don't slow down right in front of the enemy. Oh, how am I not hitting them? Oh, there we go. I need more smoke in a second. Smoke all you want, you'll be in flames soon. Oh, there's the light. I'll fly into that. Try to avoid it. Haha, <laughs> that looks cool. Alright, I guess we're about done. Let's just mop them up. Have a little fun while we're at it. No, wait, lower left hand corner says we have 22 more of these things to shoot down. Haha. <laughs> uh, it's always fun to get close. Try to take him out from a little bit of range. Oh. How is he not dead? That light might get me. Nope. Do the matrix around the light. That was a hell of a <laughs> battle. My plane's unsteady, too. Shit. Got a bunch of fighters on me. Alright, stick close to the ground. I can't even begin to hear what the Russian dude's saying. 
Alright, destroy all the guns. Um, Alright, let's go. Good thing we're a bomber. Bombs away. Up, 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 up. Oh, God, I must blew myself up again. Well, I'm gonna give this game something. It's getting more intense. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure you can't drop bombs sideways. Let's blow up the light, because that thing's getting annoying. There's anti-air for ya. Alright, good, we got some variety of enemies. Jeez, that fighter came close. Alright, some of those bombs were pretty lucky hits. Let's get after this last son of a... That's that. What's the secondary objective? Let's do it. Land. Can I land to this thing? It's on fire, it's full of bullet holes. I mean, look at that. That's pretty many bullets. It doesn't have any holes in it. It's got pock marks all over it, though. The engine's practically dead. The right wings ripped apart left wing and tail have damage it's smoking yeah I can land this watch me oh gosh I hope I can land this <laughs> and it's the flying tank as its name suggests it's not that nimble I see objective marker here. It's in the air. What, it just leave the area and not even land? That's lame. I question how they know it's the most famous victory, but fair enough. Again, it uh, would seem as though the plot's not super interesting. I mean, if you know basic history, you already know what happened. Uh, again, who cares what being promoted to major? It has no impact on the game. The Soviets forced into a 1,000-yard, 910-meter strip of land on the western bank of the Volga. Over 1,208 Stuka missions were flown in an effort to eliminate them. Despite heavy air bombardment, the Soviet 62nd Army, just 47,000 men, 19 tanks, prevented taking the west bank. Well, that's nice, but it has nothing to do with what we just did, so, uh, okay... Encyclopedia articles, who cares? And the plot's still not really doing it for me. You know, I love Metal Gear Solid. I love the philosophy. I love Uncharted. I love how fun it is and just like a summer movie. This isn't going either of those ways. And it's not really doing anything new either. It's just telling you basic history. Which, I love history. But if you love history, you already know the basic history more than likely. So I guess if you're a casual fan of history, this is probably good for you. <laughs> Perfect. 
Well, I got shot down once, or rather, my wing got clipped. But, alright, I'll take it. The United States entered World War II after the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor on December the 7th, 1941. Yep, I've been there. The United States forces first fought the Germans in the North Africa campaign. Yep, victory, played through that in different games. the way for the long-awaited invasion of Europe. British Prime Minister Winston Churchill and U.S. President Franklin Delano Roosevelt met in Casablanca in January of 1943 to plan the Italian campaign. Yeah, it's kind of cool how many epic meetings there were between world leaders. should begin in Sicily. Sicily was defended by the Italian Sixth Army. Benito Mussolini, the Italian Prime Minister, was Italian Commander-in-Chief. The Italian campaign began in June of 1943 with a large-scale operation commanded by General Dwight Eisenhower. To All right, Ike. The invasion of Sicily, several outlying islands were invaded by a combined force of British, Canadian, and American armed forces. Yep, it was kind of an epic collaboration. The Italian garrison of the island of Pantelleria surrendered to the Allies. Islands of Lampedusa, Linosa, and Lampione surrendered on the 12th and 13th. The ease of these operations made the Allies optimistic about the future of the campaign, and the islands became important airfields and staging areas for the upcoming Operation Husky. The loss of the islands had the opposite effect on Mussolini. He said, this is the wake-up call, or rather, a knock on the door. However, despite all this, both sides knew that the most difficult part was still ahead. The Allies would need to launch amphibious and airborne assaults right into the hornet's nest. Alright, sounds like fun. That actually went into a little bit of history people probably didn't know, so it's, you know, it's, uh... My opinion is improving, let's just say.